Hi, I'm Chuck Colson with this week's Two Minute Warning. Let me open it today by wishing you and your family a very Merry Christmas. At this glorious time of year, I want to share with you a few scripture verses that Patty and I have been studying. They're perfect verses for Christmas, but not ones you'd normally associate with a holiday. They're from Colossians. Listen to this. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Just think about what this means. What it is we're celebrating in a few days. It's much more than the babe in the manger and the shepherds and the angels, as lovely an image as they are. No, Christmas is all about this one great truth, the one through whom all that is created the one who literally holds the cosmos together. He, the Son of God, entered into his creation, became a man, became one of us. He who before all things, God in flesh and blood, Jesus the Christ, invaded planet Earth. He planted his royal flag of heaven and proclaimed the kingdom of God and the overthrow of the kingdom of darkness. He did it to reconcile man and God now and for all eternity. I can't help but think of one of the most memorable Christmases I've ever had that illustrates this scripture. A few years ago, Patty and I were delivering gifts to the children of prisoners through Prison Fellowship's Angel Tree program. Actually, we do it every year. We just love it. Well, this one year, I remember showing up at a little grungy apartment in the tenements. We knocked on the door, and a young boy opened the door just a crack, and I held out the presents, and I said, Merry Christmas. These are from your daddy. Well, the boy swung the door open, and we could see inside the apartment. We went in. It was bare, spartan. The only sign of a coming holiday was a scraggly little Christmas tree leaning against the counter. I asked the boy his name. Emmanuel, he said. I said, Emmanuel, do you know what that means? I opened my Bible and read him about the birth of Jesus. And they shall call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When the boy's mother came home from work, he raced up to her, threw his arms around her, and said, Mommy, Mommy, guess what my name means? God is with us. Folks, that's what Christmas is. God, creator of everything, author of all creation, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, he has come in the flesh in the person of Jesus. So sure, decorate the house and sing those beautiful carols and exchange gifts and enjoy your families, but remember, Remember what we're really celebrating, God invading planet Earth to redeem us and to plant his kingdom. I'm Chuck Colson with this week's Two Minute Warning. Have a wonderful, blessed Christmas.